So speaking of New York, I know you recently just took a trip <laughs> up there. <laughs> yep. Talk to me about y'all trip up there to New York and the experience y'all gained from that. Well, I was up there for the National Retail Federation Conference. Um, I only went to that one day. I, I just came <laughs> along. I just tagged along. Yeah, Rachel just came <laughs> along. But <laughs> at the conference, um, just different buyers were there, like mm-hmm. one from Nordstrom. I talked to him, and he was just, like, giving his advice, like, how he got started and stuff. And then I went to the QVC and Home Shopping Network showroom. Do okay. you know what that is? QVC? Some of, like, young people don't know what that is. I and I'm you, like... Yeah, I've seen that. Like, it's like when you flip through the, the channels. channels yeah. 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 And they well, be selling stuff. Yeah. 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 Some people like, don't know what it is. And I'm like, I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I went to their showroom and learned all about them. And then just, like, exploring the city with Rachel. Mm-hmm. And our other friend, Lindsay. Yeah, it was my first time. It wasn't her first time. So I was just walking around like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kept saying this is not real. Like, like it just yeah. did not feel real. Y'all yeah, went in the summertime, too, didn't y'all? No, it was like... <laughs> no. I've never... I've been in New York. Th- that was my first time. But I've never been in the summer. I've just been in the winter and fall. Oh, see, it was cold up, bro. No, Actually, we went out was good, pretty we, nice. we were lucky. It was like 60s every day. Okay, okay. That's why I thought. Yeah. I was like, was it summer? Because y'all... I know when y'all took y'all pictures and stuff, it wasn't like y'all wasn't bundled up. Right. Yeah. Like in the we, freezing cold. We got really lucky. Yeah, New York I think one bad. day was really cold. It was that first day. Mm-hmm. But we loved it. I don't know. It was just fun to see everyone's fashion. Mm-hmm. I just like going to places and not even really doing anything. I just like walking around and seeing what everyone's doing. Yeah, and kind of like just feed off People everybody. watching, yeah. yeah. It was just you got this energy when you're there, like, I know that's cliche, but you really do. And we did an Instagram takeover with Nordstrom's. Okay. And um, we would just go up to people and be like, hey, what is your favorite piece in the collection that you're in charge of? And they were, like, more than happy to, like, be on camera and talk about it. Talk about it, Because everyone that works there is so cool. Like, there are people our age, and they have all this knowledge. And I don't know, it was so fascinating to see all these different brands because, you know, we're both from cities that – we don't have, uh, Nashville has a Nordstrom, but, like, coming from Louisville, we just have, like, Macy's yeah. <laughs> and Dillard. Is, that, is there one in Simpsonville? Nordstrom? Yeah. No, you're, they have, um like, the Saks Fifth mm. discount store or whatever. Like, uh, we just have outlets, uh, okay? Uh, yeah. We just have Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. <laughs> so, me coming in there, I was like, this is what? This is a real, and, like, their Nike's little pop-up they had was amazing. I we don't learned know. so much. It was insane. Was that your favorite part of the trip? Um, mm. uh, my favorite part was probably uh, Nordstrom's. Like, I loved being in Nordstrom. Yeah, we have a friend that works there in the creative projects. Mm-hmm. So he like, we were in there like after closing, and he was just like talking to us and like introducing us to all of his friends that yeah, work there. Yeah, we met this really cool girl named Tokyo. And her name was Tokyo. That's she like named herself. I think it's her new name. Was it was the last name Japan? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but she's a stylist there she's a stylist and she was from queens okay her accent was amazing she was just <laughs> so I'm from New cool York. what was interesting is uh, like all the people we talked to didn't have a college degree really yeah, yeah. and i thought they were going to be kind of rude because you know that's what we think but no they were all so nice and they're just willing to tell you their story and give you advice like this girl probably wanted to go home after working all day but she stayed and talked to us for 30 minutes just giving us advice that's pretty cool when and you meet people like a that. lot of people don't do that yeah. and i just mm-hmm. respect that and nobody was really on their phones and uh, i don't know when people talk to you they talk to you like they look at you in your eye and they ask you questions you ask them questions and i don't know i learned a lot and i really like the people there it's pretty cool when you get to meet people who actually like share like knowledge and their experiences with you instead yeah. of just being like you figured it out on your own. I love hearing about <laughs> how people made it to yeah. where they are now. Me too. And a yeah. lot of people in New York just, you know, they actually really worked hard to get where they are. Oh yeah, especially if they're living in that city because it's it's not cheap living up there. So if you up there no. making it, you, you're doing good for yourself. Yeah, I mean, it was just fascinating. And then going to we went to Brooklyn. That was so cool because Brooklyn's a little more chill. Bed Stuy. <laughs> You go to Best Eye? No, we went to Williamsburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but Best Eye is where Madison lived. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We just interviewed this Colonel alum. She works at Elle Magazine, and she lives in Best Eye. Okay. Mm-hmm. I th- a lot of people our age live in Brooklyn. So, yeah, if you weren't thinking about moving out there, 
Brooklyn um, is a place to be. Yeah. I mean, and they got the Nets right now. They're the more, they're the more popular New York team. They're more popular oh, than the Knicks. Oh, okay. Mm. I see. I don't even know that. I mean, I forget that New York has two NBA teams. Yeah. Nobody cares about the Knicks no more. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all about the Nets. <laughs> Didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. We went to um, Harlem for one for lunch mm -hmm. that's the is the one thing though all the restaurants there you would think they'd be quick 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 no they're on their own time yeah, yeah. like they really are like we were in that restaurant for two and a half hours really and every place is so small there like all the restaurants yeah mm -hmm. and you're screaming to talk because it's so loud it's so loud and you like you get water there's no ice in it no ice no in the water no ice what why I don't know. They I said it's friend. a European, it's a European thing. Yeah, European thing. Was it like in just one restaurant or just multiple? Every restaurant. Multiple no ones, ice. Yeah. What? And they don't split checks. They don't split checks. Was so water, just letting you know that. Was You're paying for the group. <laughs> right. We'd all be looking at each other like, <laughs> who's paying? <laughs> who's paying? <laughs> was the water at least cold? I mean, yeah, but. Okay. Room temperature. Room temp. Room temperature. A room temperature and water ain't that bad. And I mean, you just, I think if we had more time, we could find good restaurants. But it really is true that the South has just, I think the South has the best food. Better hospitality and like more comfort. Like mm -hmm. It just food. quick, comes quick and just better. Yeah. I just think that, I think the South has so much flavor in their food. Some of the food there is kind of bland. Like I got hash browns. Remember, they were just potato chunks. Really? What, yeah. about, what about the pizza? Yeah, I tried like one of oh, yeah. pizza. Their pizza is... Well, y'all didn't come honestly. with me, but the last day, I went to this pizza place where my friend Asa took me because mm -hmm. he's from there, and it was owned by all these Italians, um, and it was really good. That's but good. like, When I'm in New York, all I want to eat is Italian food. Yeah. I think they have the best. I want to go to like Little Italy next time more. Like, I want to try stuff in there. We went to Chinatown one night for dinner. It's just fascinating seeing all the different people that live there. All different types of cultures. Mm -hmm. Soho, you need to go to Soho. Mm. The fashion is insane. And there's always cool sample sales. Sam of clothing or just food? Clothes. Okay. So this mm -hmm. one sample uh, sale we went to at the time, um, who was it for? I don't remember. Simon Miller. Simon, Simon Miller. Miller. But then, so a couple weeks ago... Um, in that same building, Drake was having his OVO sample sale. Mm -hmm. In that really? same building. And the, she sent me a video, and the line was like a mile long or something, or three quarters of a mile yeah. long in that same building we were just in. Oh, also, it was really weird in the sample sale is I was going in the dressing room, <laughs> and I was just <laughs> trying on this outfit. All of a sudden, somebody opens it up, and I'm like, oh, excuse me, I'm in here. And <laughs> they're like, oh, no, um, all the dressing rooms, we share them. You share them with people. <laughs> So there was like four <laughs> girls <laughs> were like never trying on clothes in front of what? each other. And I'm the type of person where if I, I feel awkward, I just start talking. And I'm like, oh, that looks so good on you, <laughs> even though it didn't. I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's cute. Because I just felt awkward. Like we were all just changing in front of each other. Because I was like getting. But don't, but don't girls do that? Like, yeah, usually? but it took but me off guard. It, 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 <laughs> it took me off guard. I was like, why are you coming in here? And they were like, no, everyone's allowed in here. And I was like, this is so weird. What? But I guess it's, you know, we're moving forward in society or something. But. I, and New York is a very populated city. So it's like, that's it, a lot of people. It was there. really, really odd. <laughs> yeah, I see one of them little famous New York rats. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like think it's fun to look for them. Like they be <laughs> fighting and stuff and this <laughs> like chasing each other and they're fat. <laughs> they're nasty. Ew. It's a rat. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be adorable. Have you seen that video? <laughs> it's like gone viral of like the pizza rat and the rat is dragging a piece of pizza down the subway line. I think I have. And, and then it's like a big rat. Yes, and last week there was a rat dragging a salad. <laughs> so on the subway too, like crazy people come on there. And but you notice all the New Yorkers, they just don't get phased by it. Like somebody will come on there screaming, like, I need money for my baby <laughs> and everyone's just like and we're all like, oh, What the heck? But everyone <laughs> We're like, just, Don't make eye contact. But everyone's not phased by it. By the rats at all. Or no, by like the crazy people <laughs> that oh, come crazy. on the subway. The rats way. and the crazy There's people. crazy people. There's crazy people everywhere. We were walking on the sidewalk and this one man who we saw for days just like lived there, I guess. Let me, he's like, those squirrels will pay. Those <laughs> squirrels will pay. And he's just like throwing up, screaming. Those squirrels will pay. I'm like, where am I? But I'm here for it. You find it right down the street here. That's just like, I don't know. There's crazy people everywhere. True. <laughs> Scary world we live in. 